the the last stay at home order it all it just ended on uh june 2nd um how difficult was that lockdown for you and your group of restaurants i think they've been successively you know they hit harder each time you know i think i think each time that we go through this um you're hoping it's the last time and it feels a little bit more soul crushing uh you know each time it just feels like you know so close and then, and then it's taken away from you the, the rugs pulled out from under you um so this one was this one was pretty tough and and uh you know and then i think we all hoped that june 2nd we would be open and then the message around uh give us some more time it's going to be a little while and and of course and then the indoor dining seems to be put off and i think one of the things that makes it a little tough too is we all turn on tv and and see stadiums filled in other jurisdictions and, and uh, everyone seems to be slightly ahead of us and that can be a little bit uh, demoralizing as well when we all think we're doing so much to try and put this to an end exactly i mean even if you're watching the the playoff games for the nhl right now you're seeing thousands of people in stands in in the u.s at arenas but up here we're still playing it cautious playing it safe but how safe do we need to play it um so what does what does the reopening really mean for you on friday and and how do you feel about it you know i'm excited about it i think that there's we're still trying to glean exactly what it means there's still a few of those little details that are that we're, we're trying to suss out at this point but really it means you know even in our little group we're bringing four to five hundred people back to work this weekend and that's that's huge for for so many people that have you know, had the opportunity maybe only to work five months out of the last 14. Um, it's, it's, it's hugely, it's hugely important. And we, and we get these people back and, 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 and contributing and, and regaining financial security and having some social experience outside of work. And, you know, I certainly know back in March when we went through this and we were able to call people back, there was almost a euphoria. Uh, you know, I, I went from restaurant to restaurant and talked to the staff and they're just, just the smile. The authentic smiles and, and, and people were so pleased to be back. So that, that's really the main part of all this for me. How many people can we meaningfully get back to work as soon as possible? That's great. And I'm really glad to hear that that staff is looking forward to returning really to the workplace to, to finally get back to a somewhat new normal, at least for the time being. Now, this this announcement was uh, originally, or the the reopening, I should say, was originally scheduled for June fourteenth on Monday, um, but as of last Monday, June seventh, the province said that it'd be shifted back to Friday. Um, now, making this announcement just five days prior to being able to reopen, um, I'm not going complaining in any way. But does that give you uh, enough time to prepare and get things going for? you know, patrons coming in on Friday and sitting down and eating? I think this is the most warning we've had for any change so far, actually. And I think we all kind of suspected it was coming at some point in the next week or so. And so it did allow us to prepare, allowed us to communicate, keep communicating with the team and, and uh, you know, start ordering uh, products, get to get our draft fridge nice and full and the kegs cooled down and settled. And, and so, you know, I feel like in this case, yeah, certainly I was, I was a little bit concerned uh, because we had heard murmuring that maybe Friday would be the day rather than Monday. And I was really hoping that they wouldn't wait until Wednesday or Thursday to let us know that. So Monday seems like a little bit of a gift to be honest with you. And it, it, it is unusual for the province to give that much warning, but uh, I think uh, the premier and, and the minister of health is fairly optimistic. Um, now, shifting back to discussing about your staff, how, how are they doing? It's, it's been quite a while since they've, since they've been in their shoes, walking through the restaurant and, and serving people on patios. Um, is there anything you'd like to say to patrons when coming to the restaurant? You know, I think, I, th I think we're all feeling anxiety and, and pressures and um, we're seeing that happen in so many different ways and so many different uh, outlets right now. We read it all over the news. The staff are nervous, even, even team members who have been with us 10 years uh, after each lockdown come down and they're nervous because it's not, you know, they have to, okay, my gosh, where do I keep this? Where do I put this? How do I, you know, it, it's getting your sea legs about you again and getting comfortable in the position. So I would love if we could all be kind and have some patience, you know, and, 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 and give everybody the benefit of the doubt and not just in our restaurants, but in, in 
you know, our, our everyday lives and in all of our interactions, because I think we all need a little bit of kindness right now, but our staff are truly excited. We're going to make some mistakes. You know, we're even now just trying to hone all the details of messaging. We have individuals calling up wanting indoor dining because they, you know, they, they interpreted the messaging slightly different. And, and so we're just trying to do everything we can to hone that messaging and, and get out in front of it so that people understand what the parameters are. You know, we still do have mask mandates. Uh, inside the businesses or when you're wandering around to and from your tables and those mandates have not been issued by our host staff those are from the province and from public health units and so as much as you might be frustrated it's really not up to them to to establish those uh, policies so you know that's easy for me to say here but in the heat of the moment I think we're all a little bit tired of of all these protocols and and want to get back to normal so I understand the frustrations but it would be nice to see them placed in the right the right spot exactly and and, and you're exactly right. I think people just need to take a breather. It's It's been a long ride for everyone. I mean, patrons who are coming in to visit and, and, and partake in, in your meals, it's uh, keep in mind that the servers are also, have also been off this long and they've been in the same situation as, 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 as you or the others, right? So exactly. Um, is there anything else you'd like to uh, mention to our viewers um, about the reopening coming Friday? No, we're super excited to have everybody, you know, we're honing our reservation policies. Uh, we've been working hard on expanded patios um, and that's been wonderful. So our municipalities that we deal with have been really great. And, and that's one of the big wins, I think, over the last year to see municipalities come out and try and uh, try and speed up the processes and make them easier for, for businesses to take advantage of these things. So I'm sitting here at Beertown, Cambridge, as an example, and uh, because of our landlords, uh, willingness and, and the municipality helping out. We, we have an expanded patio here with more than a hundred extra seats socially spaced from where we would normally be. So uh, that, that's allowing us to create uh, and bring back a lot of people and create jobs. And so we're, we're really excited. We hope that people come out and have a good time and, and uh, enjoy themselves and get an opportunity to reconnect with their loved ones.